Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I've tried making this video multiple times and one of the times I got interrupted because a raw milk delivery arrived in a very noisy truck. And I'll be talking about raw milk in future videos to so stay tuned for those videos coming. So the topic of today's video is, yes, as you see, vegan and carnivore evangelists are so extreme. And you may be wondering, what do I mean? So I'm gonna to explain to you in full details. So what I'm gonna be talking about is all based on my own personal experience and just observing how vegans and carnivores can just be towards other people that are on the diet that they're not on or the people that fail on the diet that they're on. So if you're someone that's not new to my channel, I was vegan for around six years. I quit due to health reasons around seven months ago. If you haven't seen that video where I talked about it in full detail, click the link up above. And something that I experienced when I announced that I had made the switch to a carnivore-based diet, all the vegans obviously got very, very angry and hateful towards me. And what did I hear time and time again? Well, the vegan diet is the best diet out there. Everyone should be eating this diet. And even though it didn't work for you, it must mean that you just did it wrong. And it's like, oh my God, you need to get your head out of your ass. And it's why I say that is because so many people, and I see this time and time again on a vegan diet and many other diets, is they just become so dogmatic because they believe it is the best diet and that one diet is the best diet for all people out there and everyone should be eating it but that is not necessarily true and what we see is so many vegans preach pseudoscience that is very very flawed and time and time again they're just not posting really good studies and sharing them with people that are just yeah just flawed in one way or another and a good example is epidemiological studies where they could ask people a huge group of people, thousands of people, and there's so many vegan studies like this out there, where they ask them, what did you eat for the last six months? How many people can remember exactly what they ate and how much? <laughs> yeah, you try and do that. Most people are not gonna be able to. And then they could say, well, because these people ate a lot of meat, this caused cancer. But then it's like, well, you gotta take into consideration all the other things that they ate as well. They could have caused cancer as well. So this is just one example of just like flawed vegan science. And what you normally find is a lot of these vegan studies that make a vegan diet look as good as it possibly can from the findings that they have from the scientific study. It's normally funded by vegans and normally the scientists are vegans as well. So yeah, you can't really trust those sources because they have a vested interest to promote the vegan agenda. But aside from the science, it's just absolutely ridiculous to behave like this towards people. And vegans even say, even if you're eating animal foods and switch to a carnivore diet or a keto diet or an omnivore diet and it resolves all your health issues and symptoms that the meat and animal foods are just suppressing the symptoms you had going on. And it's normally just detoxification symptoms that you stopped from eating those animal foods or some other ridiculous reason. And what you find, they're normally not very empathic and compassionate to people. And then let's go on to the carnivores. Let's not just focus on the vegans. And I've seen this happen as well. When I said that I stopped eating a carnivore diet 30 days, if you haven't seen my video where I talk about all of the amazing benefits I got from that diet, click the link up above to view that video now, is yeah, what happened was the same with the vegans. They were saying left, right and center on many of my videos that you just did it wrong. You weren't eating enough fat or you weren't having enough salt or you weren't drinking enough water. Or you was eating the wrong meats. You was doing this wrong or that wrong or that wrong. And they just wanted to blame anything but the diet. And yeah, any diet out there can be very beneficial to people. And it may be beneficial to them in the short term and it may not be beneficial to them in the long term. And what may work for you may not work for me or someone else. We're all different. We have different things going on in life. Some of us have more stress than other people. Some of us just have very, very different lifestyles, which we all do. And some of us work out, some of us don't. There's just so many things that you need to take into consideration. And just because this diet works for someone so well, such as the carnival diet, doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. My sister tried it out and she was doing it on point and it made her feel absolutely awful and it definitely wasn't good for her to do. So yeah, it all just comes down to, 
Instead of listening to dogmatic, evangelistic, idealistic preachers out there on what the best diet is for you, it is best to listen to yourself internally. So much, so many of us, should I even say, tend to just look outside of ourselves for answers. And a lot of time the answers are just within. And just with a diet, you can try certain foods out, see if it affects you negatively. If it does, stop consuming it, or maybe find out maybe there's some underlying gut issues or some other issues going on that I need to resolve and then I can eat that food and then it's not gonna affect me in a negative way. Because one food that might affect you in a negative way might not affect another person in the same way and it might not affect you the same later down the line because depending on where you are with your health and your own healing journey and how your digestion is and your gut microbiome and so on different things can work at different times and i have found that a lot of time what happens with me i find a specific food that makes you really good i keep eating it time and time and time again and then i get to a point where it feels that my body needs different nutrients from other food sources and I start to really not feel like amazing benefits from that food that I've been eating so consistently. So then I switch up and try some things. Some of them make me feel good, some of them make me feel bad. I remove the ones that don't make me feel good and I keep the ones in that do. And this was something that was really, really good with the carnivore diet because I do believe it is an amazing elimination diet. So for me, I stuck to mostly beef for 30 days and I felt amazing from it. Then I wanted to start to reintroduce other foods and I started trying things out like potatoes, broccoli and other certain foods. And I found that I just got to a point where I could tolerate a lot of foods that I could not before and just feel really, really good from them. And what is just a thing to think about, if we lived in a natural environment, would we always be eating a specific diet all the time? Would we be eating a carnival diet all the time? No. Would we be eating a plant-based diet all the time? No. We would be eating foods dependent on the different seasons throughout the year and what is available. And it depends where you would be living in the world. So obviously if you're here in Thailand, a lot of the year, you do have access to a lot of tropical fruits. But if you're in England, for example, somewhere in Norway, you're not really gonna have access to much of that and you're probably gonna eat a lot more animal foods consistently in your diet and it, can, it will just vary throughout the year. So I believe the best diet for us is a varied diet of natural foods that make us feel good and don't affect us in a negative way. So it's just all about trying out loads of different things. And if you feel good, just eating beef for the rest of your life, like Charlene Anderson, who's done it for almost 30 years, then that's obviously a good thing for her to do. There's some people that thrive on a plant-based diet, such as Nima, Nimai, Delgado almost mentioned his name well said it wrong should I even say and he feels really good from it but yeah there's a lot of people that fail on these diets and many other different diets and it may be that your diet is working for you now I felt good on a vegan diet for quite some time but then I went downhill after a while and then there's other people that don't feel good on a carnivore diet after doing it for a long period of time you can search up online many people have done it for a while and then quit because it was no longer serving them in a positive way so it's good not to keep yourself in a box because I've done this before and then you're like this is the best diet you tell everyone it's the best diet and then you can get to a point where it's not working for you so well and then you're like hmm actually you start questioning your beliefs and you start having to change them and just keep your mind more open so yeah it's just not a good way for people to be but it's all down to yourself, how you want to be with your dietary choices. But just be careful what you're saying to other people and don't be too extreme and dogmatic at all because it's just not the best way to be, at least based on my own personal experience and seeing how other people are. Because what ends up happening between like vegans and carnivals, they're like, oh yeah, meat is so bad. It's going to give you cancer, heart disease. This is what the vegans say to the carnivores. And then the carnivores are saying to the vegans, all the plant toxins are bad and the cellulose and this and that and that. And they just end up rubbing each other up the wrong way. And they just become very aggressive towards each other. And they just throw loads of slander at each other. It's not bringing up very positive emotions up in them and it's just not making them feel good in any way whatsoever. And yeah, it's just a waste of your time to be honest. It's like, what do you gain from like trying to force things onto other people? You normally don't gain anything except for 
negative emotions being thrown towards you that won't necessarily make you feel good within your day and it's just an absolute waste of time so yeah just do your best to keep your mind open to everything and attached to nothing so that's it from me in this video leave your comments and questions down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your amazing day so as always stay fit stay energetic and just make the most of your amazing day peace